Okay, which one moves how fast, I guess, yeah. No, my phone's in the in the exam room. I think. Yeah, it's not here. Yeah, don't say that, because she knows. She's smart. What, what did you say she weighed again? 22, 22. She's a senior, right? Is that what we call her? Well, she, she, she's, she's on an extended holiday. Retiring. Yeah. She's got a totally blown out height in her throat. She's got kidney infection. Mm -hmm. 
blew out her left kidney. I'm sorry, her right kidney. Her left kidney's kind of working now. And I think it's gotten into her bloodstream because she's got that epigenic smoke. What that is, what that tells me is that there's high cellularity. And her urine is hemo concentrated with probably cells of different and white cells and stuff. And so it, should, mm -hmm. it shows up as echogenic, well, it shows up as flocculent. Mm -hmm. In cats, it's usually different. That's usually an impending clot. But in dogs, it's usually a sign of septicemia. Mm -hmm. So she's, septic, she's septic and her heart's big. And I, she may have some form of you know, cardiomyopathy going on as well. I mean, it's big. That's how you yeah. be careful with the fluids. Yeah, you can't really put her on any fluids anymore. What diet did you have her on before you um, got her here? What type of diet was it? She was on a blue buffalo senior um, uh, soft with uh, with blue buffalo. Um, it was a blue buffalo grain, grain diet. Uh, yeah, yeah. It was based. It was. Um, yeah. It had had like the, this kibble too. Like I think yeah. uh, like a lamb kibble or something yeah. that I was mixing it up, yeah, but she had also these uh, these begging treats that she would eat and and um, and the mm -hmm. snacks. I mean, so like the the other one was the milk bones, and she had a, a handful of those. You know, well, here, there have been here some the... reports out that grain free diets can cause some problems in these dogs, but heart, heart problems, but your heart is huge. It's twice as big as it should be. Is that and uh, is that by nature or is that by what's happening now? I think it's a separate problem. She could have mm -hmm. heart disease, underlying heart disease, a condition called dilated cardiomyopathy. Um, but she definitely, I mean, her right kidney is just completely gone. It's just a sack of fluid. And um, Is that something that's and, reversible uh, or not? It's just the well, way it is? that one's gone. That's a fried egg. Yeah, you're not gonna, you're not gonna make a yolk again. Uh, but we can, all she's, I'm not, see how hard she's breathing? Yeah. Yeah, that's from her lungs. But probably, if you take a chest x-ray, I'm sure her lungs will be full of fluid, too. I don't see any pleural effusion, but we got to be so careful about her. So maybe don't get fluids anymore. Yeah, I wouldn't. Turn on that man. I would, yeah. Just keep on the antibiotics. Keep on the yeah, because you don't want to... Her heart's not going to be able to handle it. You mentioned albumin before, or? Yeah, persons were okay the last time. No, I just I checked them yesterday. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. I don't think that's an issue. We were thinking that if she had kidney failure, that sometimes they leak protein, and then the protein drops, and they have fluid retention, leakage, and stuff, but mm -hmm. her protein's been normal. Okay. So it's not from that. It's from her heart. She's got heart disease and kidney disease, both combined, and they're beating her up. They have two separate problems. One didn't cause the other. They just kind of decided to smash into each other. Really, well, it's really strange because I mean, she had zero signs of anything. Oh, like um, my brother John was here uh, on Monday before yeah, before was, before St. Patty's Day, yeah. and she was all over the place, walking and jumping on things. I mean, she was just at, like totally yeah, normal. Well, and the, the thing is, with heart disease, um, they do fine until they're decompensated. And they show clinical signs. A lot of dogs with DCM don't show any signs. It's kind of a silent killer. Yeah. And then once they, their heart starts to reach a certain point of no return, they, they, they start failing and everything backs up. Plus, I think she probably... We see most heart disease in dogs and cats we see as a result of stress from something else. Hmm. Something pushes them over the edge. Like she, this kidney disease probably oh. pushed her over the edge, and now her heart disease is showing up. Okay. Yeah. It's just sitting there, silent. Is this some, I mean, how does this uh, parlay into her future life, right? I mean... It's not good. When you got both kidney disease and heart disease, I mean, that's not good. That's... And just on the legs off the chairs. So. <laughs> try to see what she yeah. does at first, but... Yeah. Well, she, and she doesn't, she doesn't, she doesn't show you anything. She doesn't cry. She doesn't, um, she, she won't show her emotions at all. She just will deal 